Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 71 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, hopefully this will be the final chapter... Final chapter? Final chapter in the uh, Keeper Chronicles here. Which has been quite a struggle, but believe you me, it's been all worth it knowing that we've gotten this far. We have every single item unlocked. It could be a matter of time before we pick them up on this run. Which would be downright ridiculous. However, I feel like it's probably not going to happen on this run. And if it don't, it's no big deal. All that matters is we beat regular Satan and the Lamb. And these items will not make that happen in any way whatsoever. Ooh, Curse of the, La Curse of the Labyrinth. And both our item rooms are right next to each other. It's too bad they're both shit. Huh. Well, Mongo Baby's not... Terrible, it's just not something you want to have right from the start. But holy light could be something you'd really want. All right, here's our seed S2 WC HMXE. All right, let's do this. Playing as Keeper, hopefully for the last time. And the more luck upgrades we get, the better our chances with a uh, holy light doing a little, little bit of wreckage. Like, we don't have to worry about rushing too much. We don't have to pressure ourselves to take deals with the angel. We can take all the deals with the devil we want, or at least be able to take. Let's not forget about that. I mean, we still got that whole issue of, well, not being able to replenish our health reliably. Or at least more HP. I'm not talking about, like, health in general. I mean, just having more health containers. That's still going to be a dicey issue, all things considered. But at the end of the day, we have less things to worry about. And we know that all we need to do is just remember not to take the Polaroid by accident. Which means I could probably still fuck myself, because... I'm not always a man with an awesome memory. Like, I'm known for having a photographic memory, but there are some key things I'll tend to forget every now and then. Something tells me I should not bother with any of these items. And I tend to silence that voice a lot. Ah, stopwatch. Uh, how do I feel about that? Well, I felt like the stopwatch burned me when I had to battle Isaac. So, I don't feel good about it, and I also have zero keys. That's another reason to feel bad, man. Another reason to feel bad, having to deal with Littlehorn. Because he is just a pain in the ass to fight. Unless he destroys his own, like, you know, magic attacks. Like, I don't even know what to call that, like, a spit attack he does. Maybe it's, like, a lot of phlegm. Like, maybe he's got a lot of mucus and he just wants to clear it all up. So he just coughs it at you. Just quite an asshole thing to do, all things considered. Well, at least we've got a slight damage up, all things considered. So let's down to the next floor. Just gotta keep reminding myself to take the negative instead of the Polaroid. Like, that's another thing about Keeper. Like, the Polaroid and the negative, he gets no benefit from them. Which I find absolutely ridiculous. Like, he doesn't get the invincibility from the Polaroid. And he also doesn't get the, um, well, the damaging that he gets from the negative. Which you hardly ever notice, because, let's face it, you're probably not going to get yourself in that position anyway. If you feel strong enough to go for Satan or the Lamb. Weirdly enough, in the original Rebirth, Satan and the Lamb were the last guys I needed to beat as the Lost. And now here we are, they're the last guys I need to beat as Keeper. Which just downright blows my mind. Luckily, I don't have to worry about deals with the Angel or the self-sacrifice rooms anytime soon. What I need to worry about is the lack of consumables. Money is good. It's health, well not health, bombs and keys that aren't. And I can't afford to skip one too many item rooms. I'd rather not skip any at all, if I can. Like, if I only get one bomb, then I'll use it to get the key. Then I'll feel happy. Then I'll be struggling for bombs, so you can't always get what you want. So I... Well, I guess we will be using our bomb to uh, get to this key over here. 
I don't regret this decision in the slightest, unless the item is downright garbo. Which is likely to happen, but it's also likely not to happen. Well, at least this is a reroll machine, so we have many easy outs. Maggie's bow is not good enough. Mom's contacts is tempting, but also not good enough. The virus, uh... You know what, fine, we'll take chemical peel. So, at least it'll be all three of our shots that benefit from the extra damage from chemical peel, and all three of them that don't. So, it's a bit of a mixed bag, how I feel about this overall. But it was like, I don't want to spend too much money. It'll just put us in a bad situation if we do that. We kind of need that money for later. Oh, we managed to skip a room. I don't feel bad about that at all. Uh-oh. I almost created a big mistake here. But man, Holy Light just bailed me out. Okay, we'll just check all this poop, because I could find petrified poop, and I have zero trinkets. Oh, it's the haunt. Not really feeling that, but man, holy light, I'm telling ya. Man, holy light was just pretty much what I needed to destroy those mini haunts. You the real MVP, man. I'm telling ya, holy light is just probably one of the top items that made its debut in Afterbirth. Not the best, but every, every time it's there, it's been so good. Ah, Book of Belial. I don't want to trade a wooden nickel for that. <sighs> Look, the only reason I'm taking it is because we can get Devil Precedent. So then we can just take the HP upgrade and it's like, well, it doesn't really matter anymore. We'll just go down to the next floor. Feeling a little iffy about this run, but I'm sure we can make something happen. Ugh, Curse of the Blind again? Sure, we can do this. I mean, worst case, case scenario, what do we get? Like, nine lives? Or Cursed Eye or something? I don't know. Oh, we did get nine lives! Okay. This is a pretty frightening situation now. So we kind of have to get an HP upgrade eventually to make this run very good. 48 hour energy. Okay, whatever. Take our sun card with us. It doesn't really do much for us other than just be like a glorified map and damage throughout the entire room. Which is nice, but... If you're only going to have it once, I mean, why use it in the catacombs? It just feels like a big waste. Oh, kind of duped him out there. <laughs> Still got it. I still have my moments of glory, and my moments of sorry. Like, sorry I absolutely screwed that up. Please don't be Isaac's heart. Samson's Chains, well, it's not bad. Well, if we're gonna get, like, a Devil Precedent, and we got, like, only one HP, we might as well just take whatever we can. Unfortunately, it's Krampus, so it don't matter. I forgot there was, like, a fire over there. Really need to try to put that out eventually. Oh, we actually won! And it's Lump of Coal! Okay, well, that's good. That's real good. Might as well destroy all these just to see what's there, and there's nothing. Go back for our sun card, thank you very much. Gotta be a little extra careful with Samson's Chains, because I don't want to hit those mushrooms and then kill myself with them. That would just be stupid. Don't be m stupid. Play smart. You know, maybe the definition of playing smart is just to, like, hold R to restart this run until you get a better loadout. But I'm like, yeah, you know what? I've won a lot of 
awesomeness, just like, through that last run, that everything was just going my way. Maybe I should try to make myself struggle for once, you know, for the first time in a while, and then realize, you know, that I can't really take these kinds of runs for granted. So, let's just, like, do what we can here. I'm gonna open this up a little bit. Uh-oh. This could be a bit problematic if they start, you know, making some jank moves. Broken Ankh? Uh, no thanks. The good thing about Sansa's Chain is that if I feel like I'm gonna get closed in by the natural formation, I can just, like, let it take care of the terrain for me. That's right, you get in there. Up close and personal. Oh my god, these things just take forever to die. But whenever Holy Light hits, they're, they're just done. Most of the time. Oh, these enemies definitely die. Maybe I should check our shop next. That might be a good idea to do that before we fight our boss. Uh, well, maybe. It's debatable if that's a good idea or not. I should check here for a secret room. It's actually not there. That's weird. Okay, I guess I'll just check here. Oh, there is no seven cent item. That is highly disappointing to say the least. So I guess I will be using a bomb just to see what's there. We only get like 14 cents. How's that gonna give me that item? It's not. Unless I decide to, like, fight the other rooms. I mean, like, why would I do that? I'm better off just going. Just don't take too many chances. I only got, like, nine lives. And each life is only, like, one hit. Oh, this fucker. I've always hated fighting the stain for obvious reasons. And I think you know what those reasons are. Like bullet hell. Spawning right next to me. Poop! Toxic poop, of course. I gotta remember to use start using Samson Chains more defensively. But I'm like too much in a hurry to get this guy killed. That's ah, Roid Rage. That's not HP. That's not HP at all. Curse of the Blind for What? How many times am I going to have this? Oh my lord. This is way too much. I can't go for that. Like, fourth floor, boss trap room. Yeah, like a Mega Maw and Mega Fatty. Like, I'm going to have fun with this. That would be downright ridiculous if I tried to go for that on purpose. Okay, open up the space for yourself. Okay, we're gonna make it. I think we just made this room a lot more winnable now. But seriously, how often has Curse of the Blind showed up? Like, way too much. This is not 48 hour energy, is it? Did I already get this pill? No. Oh, yes. My prayers have been answered. This was the one thing I needed to make this run possible. Now, just don't die, and then find yourself back where you started. That would be pretty bad. We want to avoid that. This run has just become a hell of a lot more winnable now. As long as I can keep this one life. This was also a dead end, which is disappointing to say the least, but life goes on. Can't really say I like this room at all. Unless these guys die. Well, <laughs> that would make it blatantly obvious now, wouldn't it? Okay, well, this better be a good reward. Eh, it was. Could have been better, but could have been worse, too. I guess we can only explore this way now. 
Now, do I just decide to go for the blood bank now? I guess there's no reason not to. Oh yeah, I forget the music gets all weird whenever you get hit. Um, thank you for the extra money there. I'm pace I'm just pacing myself carefully so that I don't like miss money by accident. It's too bad I can't get like two plays in a row. Like sometimes the blood bank will give me a nickel. Then we more plays on the slot machine. Look at that, it, it actually paid out for itself by giving me a pretty fly. That's a blood bag, so I got my HP back and a little bit of extra speed. I'll play this a few times, like maybe around 16 cents. I'm not gonna blow it up, because I might come back to it later. But for now, I mean, it had its time. Kind of disappointed me, except for this one pretty fly. But I wouldn't mind getting some better orbitals down the road. Or a orbital, other than a pretty fly. Okay, good. I felt like I wasn't pushing the bomb. You just blew yourself up, you jackass. Um, good job. <laughs> You know, I'm just gonna use the stun car to get out of there. Which, surprisingly, did not finish this room. Okay, we're, we're back to normal. That was pretty much like a panic shot right there. I was not a fan of that kind of room as Keeper, or let alone anyone, except for maybe Azazel or the Lost. Because at least they can fly. We should go to our item room first. That guy did not die? Wow. Well, that Tinted Rock just gave me a bomb. Luckily, I was able to see it. Okay. Our item room better be awesome. Unfortunately, I don't even know what it's going to be in there, even if I go in there. Because we got Curse of the Blind for like two floors in a row. So any item right now could just downright frighten me. And it's D20. Uh, that's not terrible, actually. Like, what can I get? Like, really? I think I should just stick with Wood and Nickel for now. And if I find, like, a lot of good stuff, like maybe in the secret room, I'll probably just use the D20 there. If it's worth it, of course. This could also be worth it. And this is... Oh, the jar. Like, not jar flies, either. It's just the jar. I don't feel good about that. Alright, well, let's take the D20 with us to the secret room. Because here's what I'm thinking. If it has a shit ton of money... I don't know if I want to take all of it. I might consider only taking a little bit of it. And see what we do with it somehow. You know what? I'm just going to D20 all this. It was hardly worth it, by the way. Did not get anything out of that at all. Highly disappointing. Like, what did I, I traded, like, a coin, a bomb, and a key to get some blue flies and a bomb. That's it. Did not really like that value proposition in the slightest. That's a dark one. Well, the blue flies were good for something. I thought I was going to shoot the brimstone right there, but he didn't. Not that I'm complaining. But at least this brimstone is easy to dodge. There we go. Dark one is now dead. And you give me... Ooh! Magic mush. 
I can never turn that item down. Well, not that I would even know what it is, because it's, well, Curse of the Blind. Which, thankfully, we don't have on this floor. Is it just me? Does the game feel a little bit slower? I figured I'd just go for it. Friends till the end. You know, this has been a very long time since I've ever seen that pill. I don't know if it had anything to do with the game's latest update. Which, you know, this is going to be a very dated video, by the way. Like, this is like January 21st that this video is being recorded. Yeah, I know my backlog of Afterbirth is highly ridiculous right now compared to other projects because I love this game so much. But I guess the game just added like a few other languages. You know, like Japanese and Korean from what I've read on the Steam forums of this game. And I was wondering if there was anything else that was done with it. I don't think the language patch had anything to do with, you know, the game getting a little framey at this point. I highly doubt it. It would just be a very weird after effect. That probably would not make any sense. Okay, was that the health uphill that saved me earlier? If it was, I might want to pick one up. I mean, there's no reason not to. I got nothing else. Whoa! Okay, you almost crept up on me. That would have been very rude. I'd be willing to give up a key for it. No, that was 48 hour energy. Oh, well, they were almost like the ex exact same color. So it was very easy to get thrown off there. I got an idea. There. That made it so much easier not to use another bomb. Oh god. I did not want to pick that money up, by the way. It was just there. I needed a vantage point to get to those bonies. I don't want to blow up those skulls, because I know what's going to happen. Like, I'm just going to be dealing with Ho Central. And that ain't fun. Wait, is there still another one? Oh, there is. There's still another one again? Well, at least they're eager to fight me. Oh, that guy was a little too eager. That does nothing for me. But this card might. Ah, uh, it's the magician. Well, it can't be bad. I guess it's only bad if you were expecting another card. Like, I would love to have the strength card again, just so I can, like, maybe take another deal with the devil. That's the only good thing it would be for. Well, the occasional damage would be nice, but still. That's usually the primary reason you'd want a strength card as keeper. I don't know why I had the map up like that. Uh, sure. Go, just pace yourself. I knew there was another wall monster. The game was not fooling me. Again. It's fooled me many times, especially as this character. Let's be honest, right there. It made me to believe that if you have five knives, you can actually win. Believe it or not, you can still lose. Let's not be reminded of that again, even though I was the one that reminded you of that. Irony, everyone! So we got Mom's wig, even though my character literally saw no change. Like, come on, my character does not even have the wig on. We just picked that up. At least, like, let it blend in with ya. It's a part of you now. Okay, we found our boss and shop together. And I'm so glad we can actually see what's in the shop in terms of, like, passive or active items. Uh, sure, we'll take BFF. I think it actually makes the chain bigger. I find that crazy. 
Why? I don't know. Because, like, it feels like it's not even a familiar. Like, like it's just a part of you. That is pretty neat that you can actually make that bigger, too, by way of BFF. Well, I know little Gish is gonna grow. So, there we go. I guess we're gonna go straight down now. Okay, I gotta check on something real quick. Time out, everybody. Okay, false alarm. I just wanted to check to make sure that nothing was actually going wrong with the video. So I just want to see if it was running okay, and indeed it was. Wow, head of the keeper. As keeper. That is pretty much some extra insurance right there. In terms of finances. And survival. Now I just need to find Swallow Penny in there, and we're pretty much going to be game. Yeah, it's, it just seems a little bit choppy. I don't know why. Flatworm. Uh, it just makes the tears look a little bit longer. I don't feel good about playing the uh, Judgment, by the way. Like, it just doesn't seem like a good situation at this point. Even if I could get, you know, growth hormones. I tend... I, I've noticed that usually when you play Demon Judgment, that tends to happen a lot. You either get the syringe items... Like, usually it's Roid Rage or Growth Hormones. Maybe it's the other ones that show up as well. Or you might get Ceremonial Robes. Like, those tend to be like the money items that show up from Demon Judgment. I can spend one key to get two. And then swing it in such a way that I can just get the others. Because that's how I roll. Man, if I could just get some more luck upgrades, we'd be over the moon right now. I don't want to use that pill. Something tells me you can only press your luck for so long and then it's gonna burn ya. It eventually will burn me at some point. So I'm gonna forego that completely. Yeah, so far, I don't think we've picked up a single luck upgrade. Like, maybe Magic Mush gives you a luck upgrade. I don't know. It's hardly noticeable. Man, that guy's stuck. Like... Oh, we're not done? Okay, now we're done. Good. Good, 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 good. Why did I use a bomb if I could just use the chains? Well, it was hardly a loss of any kind. Yeah, sure, we'll take the map. I don't know how I feel about Chaos, though. Maybe we should just not take Chaos. I was like, oh, it just would have been a little bit more fun. Like, whatever happened to challenging yourself, Bonga? Look, Chaos will just be too risky for us at this point. Still haven't found our item room yet. It's like, I know Chaos won't cause us to lose, you know, the negative or the Polaroid being dropped. I'm not thinking of that. I'm just thinking, like, our next boss items, you know, could make or break it for us. And I kind of still want them to show up. I don't want to talk about it, guys. I <laughs> Flush is just garbage. I don't care what anyone says. But on the plus side, we can definitely destroy Mom with this get-up. Like, we'll always have opportunities to heal. If we're lucky, of course. Like, it's not set in stone. But it definitely feels a lot more probable. Gotta remember, you gotta take the negative. Don't take the Polaroid. There we go. That's been solved. Oh, of all the luck. Look, I know I have nine lives and I can afford to take Brimstone. I have nine lives and I can afford to take Brimstone. Fuck it, we're doing it. 
I don't think I would have been able to swing it my way to get, like, both those items together. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, I was kind of wondering what was happening. So, you can't see if your charge is full or not. That worries me. So, basically, I got brimstone. One locomotive, two locomotive, three locomotive. So, it's got to be around at least maybe three seconds. But holy shit, that's... That's a spicy meatball. So, we got to hope... That we get an HP upgrade on this floor. Kind of wish I didn't have to worry about those spikes, by the way. Okay. We could really use a hangman card. Wait. Would this help? The broken magnet? No, I don't think it'll work. But it probably won't work. Because if it did, man, that would have been so great if I can get those pills. So I think one of them was a health up. No, it's not gonna work. Can I, like, try a bomb? Like, wow, good job. <laughs> so I guess we gotta do this the old fashioned way. Just don't get hit. I do feel good, like, if I could have taken any of those items, I'm glad it was brimstone. Like, I'm kind of glad it wasn't Mega Blast. So, like, well, great. One of the items I needed for 1,001% and it shows up while I'm playing as Keeper. Like, that just would have been the ultimate middle finger. And believe it or not, it still could happen here. Satanic Bible? Fine, just give me the blue flies and I'll go. Like, Brimstone will do enough damage to Mom's heart and almost eviscerate her completely. I just don't feel that confident about my chances moving forward. Um... I don't feel comfortable playing the Key Beggar. Like, what am I gonna get out of it? Not a lot. I just gotta remember to, like, get this thing used now and then. And I don't necessarily have to, like, do it in a room with enemies now. Okay, what wall monster is it? Oh, that one. Okay. Oh, there was another one! Oh, there was... Well, at least the enemies were dead. I didn't know there would be a second one. Let Fate's Reward help out now and then, like... So I got a good situation going on still. Not perfect, but... Could be a lot worse. At least we have a map, so we have a general idea on what direction we should be going to. Somewhat. And most times we can clear out these rooms in one hit, so I'm feeling good about that. So it's not a complete wash. I thought I still had a full charge there, let's be honest. Okay. I think we should... We'll keep that in case we do get, like, a health upgrade later on. You know, not likely, but I like to hold out all hope that it will happen. I did not kill Larry Jr. yet? No, that was the hollow, never mind. Ah, they almost look the same. Sansa's change just scares me when it does that. Fade's reward, you actually were the hero. Athami? Well... There's really no reason to take that. Or is there? I think I can get by on this amount of lives. That would have been so creepy if I actually got locked in there. Okay, so if we die, we might still be able to generate some ring. Which will kill whatever enemies are left. 
Okay, so I think it's the general consensus is go left. I wasn't strong enough to kill Loki? Really? Okay. <sighs> Come on, just give me a health up pill. Two of diamonds? Health up pill? Please? Is that really too much to ask? Dude. Oh, thank God it was just that one. Perks? Doesn't really help, but thanks. The thing that, like, again, what worries me about this type of brimstone is not the long charge time, but it's just that I don't know how long the charge needs to be. With other characters, at least I had a flash that can let me know. But Keeper's face doesn't even move. Like, it doesn't change. So I have no idea of when I should release. I think one of the Geenies died. The other one died. Good. Well, it's still hopeful. Like, we just had to play really good. That's what I was waiting for. Good, 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 good. Wow, that was really nice. Oh, wait, did we just kill Satan? Wait, the death animation didn't finish. So I gotta do it again. Okay, we know that a Thami still works. That even after you die. Which is a downright blows my mind. But that's true. Oh. That's embarrassing. Come on, don't lose it right here, Bonga. You got many chances. Just get it together, dude. Okay, there we go. We beat Satan. Keeper holds the store key. Okay, that's another starting item for him. And it's just a trinket. Well, at least he won't start with no trinkets. Okay, we made it to the dark room. Oh, no. The map is useless. Wait, is one of these held up? Lemon party. Lemon party. Range up. Not what I'm looking for, but it's the thought that counts. Just remember, wait for those guys to get ready. And then go for the kill shot. We need a health up pill. Now! Oh, I didn't have the charge ready. The charge is still not ready! Spiders had to get the kill for me. Was that really just it? Huh. Not really feeling this room either. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe I don't have to go that way. Let's try this way? Really? Triple famine? That was actually pretty close. I, I saw myself getting hit. That's a dead end, by the way. And I haven't had any chest drop for me. Good, 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 good. Thank you for those keys that I'll probably never be using. Oh, Jesus. Why does there have to be so many guineas? If it wasn't for this long charge time, we'd be clearing this room by now. <sighs> this 
is also a dead end. Retro vision. Oh shit. This is not the pill I was looking for. Did I already go up? Yeah, I already went up. What about down? Yeah, I think I already went this way. Well, let's go straight down? Okay. This may not even be the way to the land. Maybe I gotta go through that double fallen room. I think I do have to fight the double fallens. Oh, that's the part I'm looking forward to the least. But I think we have to go through this fuck chamber. Alright, well, let me take the one closest to me first. Okay, that was pretty much the best way to facilitate a victory here for this room. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Wow, you didn't even get a chance to do jack shit. And, you know, it's no different. Oh, but at least the other guy dropped something for me. Unlike you, you shithead. Spiders had to save me. Mom's wig, you've been pretty much money for me. Oh, shit. I actually did that room pretty well until then. Okay, at least we know what we gotta deal with. And holy light, man. I may not have had the best items for this for this run, but any item I picked up has at least done something. Like there's been no sleeper items. Like no items that were being completely useless. Like they've all had their use. Well, except for a broken magnet. I mean, that's pretty much been the lone disappointment. But that's a trinket, so it don't count. So we'll, we'll give that one a pass. At least we have we haven't got much else in the dark room. Fuck, we haven't got anything in the dark room except like maybe like anxiety levels that are almost to the level of high school students. Oh my god, Mr. Mega. Wow, fantastic. Well, we found the lamb, so I'm feeling good about actually fighting the lamb. It's getting to the land that's actually frustrating. You know, I'm gonna pop the magician right now. Cause, cause the jank shot. Then I managed to dodge everything. Okay, we destroyed the body. We did it, guys! Oh, we got Karma and the Sail Baby. Karma's just another trinket. But guys, this was a run for the ages. Like, it was a run that I felt like it was in danger. But man, we pulled it off. Like, look at what we've done. We have completed post-it notes on all 13 characters. This is pretty much a good benchmark for the next wave of DLC that comes out later in the year. I don't know. So, all the post-it notes are done. The only thing that's left to do is 1001%. How do we get 1001% right now? We had to pick up Deep Pockets, and we had to pick up Mega Blast. So, we can pretty much play as any character we want, on any mode we want, and there you go. So I wonder how many episodes it's going to take for me to pick up those two items at least once. Well, starting in the next episode, you're going to find out. See ya, everybody.